One of the first things we did immediately after the revolution was launch a piece of research which looked at the relationship between the arts and social change. The Grants for Artists programme emerged as a direct result of that research. Over the past two years, we've supported more than 80 young Egyptian artists and institutions develop their ideas. So I was looking for a um, subject for my PhD thesis and I just keep searching about it and I found bio art by chance. And then I like, okay, I forgot about it because it's very difficult, but it keep like clicking, clicking, clicking in front of me, like, okay, bio art, bio art. <laughs> and after that, I decided to work on it. Maybe the grant was to travel and to make kind of um, exchange experience with a bio artist. There is no bio artist in Egypt, so I couldn't get any experience from here. like to be um, a pioneer. <laughs> I really dream to get out of the petri dish and make bio paintings. Mainly I work advertising, I work music videos, I work with everything with the fiction, with the part of the drama. والحقيقة أن أنا كنت مأجل الجزء الدرامي لأن كنت طول الوقت خايف منه كنت خايف أنه مش محتاج أن أشتغل مع مؤسسة أو شركة إنتاج تكون حاطة عليا رولز معينة أن أشتغل عليها لحد ما كانت موجودة منحة المركز الثقافي البريطاني كانت بالنسبة لي هي نقطة مهمة جدا لأنه بقى في حد بيوفر لي إنتاج وفي نفس الوقت ما بيسألنيش الفكرة دي شكل عامل إزاي أو, أني أو الرؤية بتاعة العمل ده متجهة إزاي فبالتالي كان كانت هي بالنسبة لي مهمة جدا نقطة تحول إن أنا قدرت أنفز الفيلم برؤيتي الشخصية بدون أي تدخل. I was able to get this instrument that I couldn't get here and is way out of my, my budget and uh, it allows me to play scales that I couldn't play on, on a normal guitar. <laughs> well, I think people are kind of finally ready to start reclaiming their own identity because I mean for the past maybe 50 years, maybe more. The art scene in general has been really stagnant and they have a lot of pent up creativity and, uh, and if, it's, if it's not supported, I mean, who knows what'll happen. <laughs> We focused on the arts because one of the things that was immediately apparent to us was the way in which young Egyptian artists were taking their work out to the streets, communities and schools of Egypt, engaging with young people across the country. The um, inspiration for the project for me was that after the revolution, like a lot of people was talking about how to get uh, be able to involve in politics and to do some real change in their lives. And this change will not ever happen except if you want to be able where they are living, talk to them, spend some time with them, know about them, because actually we do not know about these people. 
يعني اهم حاجه بالنسبه لي ان هو لازم يبقى بيعرف يكتب الموضوع كويس عشان يطلعه صح عشان الناس يعني ايه اللي ما بتعرفش تقرا قوي او ما تعلمتش تبقى فاهمه هو بيقول ايه الناس تعرف تتكلم معاه وتبقى عايز تتكلم معاه ويبقى طريقته في الكلام حلوه تبقى عنده اخلاق كويسه ما يتعصبش بسرعه ويكتب الحقائق ما يزودش ولا يقلل في الكلام Sometimes they get like some issue that's going on in the country and they discuss it according to the people who lives in Ardilewa perspective. Other thing it helps the communications between this society and another society is because now they have a website. So through this website and through the newspaper, you can communicate with other people who lives outside of Ardilewa. They doesn't know anything about Ardilewa. أهم حاجة إن إحنا بإن نعرف نتعامل مع الناس في أرض اللواء ونعرف نوصل لهم فكرنا ويبقى عندهم وعي أكتر فيفهموا حاجات أكتر ويحاولوا يعرفوا برا برا أرض اللواء إيه يعني. The support the British Council gave to Noon supported in the creation of this whole performance. This performance is part of a whole string of performances that are on the rights of disability and they're all inclusive. So it's kind of that equal footing of I'm not here to help you because I can walk better or I can uh, hear better or whatever. We actually have to do this together. So my story is equivalent to your story. And then we have to decide on how the two stories kind of become one story. هما يعني انا حاسه ان هما بطبيعتهم اصلا ممثلين لان حركه الاشاره دايما يبقى فيها تعبير وشك حركات ايدك يمين شمال حركات جسمك احسن نتيجه للمشروع ان الصم نفسهم فئه الصم اتبسطوا قوي بالمسرحيه دي وحسوا ان هما بتتكلم عن حقوقهم من اول البيت لحد الجواز The global recession has forced us to rethink the ways in which we look at economies. And whereas many sectors have floundered, the creative industries have continued to flourish, growing at a rate of 14% a year. In Egypt, we are committed to young creative entrepreneurs because they're the people who will shape the future of this country. In Code Studio, it's designed by a research studio, uh, created by friends. Um, we thought uh, uh, that's a, a, new, a, a way to, uh, to change the conventional model of uh, design studios here in Egypt. And we were trying to collaborate between uh, education, uh, design practice and manufacturers. Uh, and, and at the end we want to put Egypt on the international design map. A lot of our designs in ECODE is inspired from nature. To describe uh, all of its complexities, uh, we um, uh, rely on mathematics and uh, um, a lot of programming languages. And at the end of our designs, we, uh, we try to realize it, not only on uh, our computer screens. So uh, the, the grant of uh, the Bridge Council, it was a benefit to, to prototype a lot of uh, uh, our starting designs. Working with ENCODE helped me to, to test new uh, material, new fabrication methods, opening new markets and um, uh, another kind of distribution for my products. We established Agora, we did a study, and uh, that's how we created the two long programs, Art for Economic Development and Art for Social Development. It was uh, basically to teach women uh, from uh, unprivileged uh, areas a lifelong skill, uh, which is the jewelry making, to earn a living. الجراند ده عمل لي ثلاث حاجات مهمه جدا انه اول حاجه قدرت اعمل اكسبشن لوحدي واحد في القاهره واحد في اسكندريه ثاني حاجه قدرت اعمل اوردرز كبيره بره مصر في كندا وفي امريكا الثالث حاجه كان في سيدات انا علمتهم واثقه فيهم ابتدوا يساعدوني في شغلي How can a person 
be productive and contribute to the economy as an engineer or a doctor or a worker in a factory or a farmer in a field if they are deprived of any means of expression and imagination. I don't think it is possible for anybody to be productive in the true sense of the word that is later translated into figures without having the power of imagination and expression. Art is about expression and communication. Whether you like it or you hate it, you always communicate. Art is research, and research is the catalyst of innovation. Art for me is a tool to express my own opinion in a free way.